Hi, this lesson is about circuit diagrams. In this lesson, we are going to learn how to draw circuit diagrams given sources like cell uh, battery, switches, lamps, resistors. It can be fixed or variable resistors, fuses, and then we have ammeters and voltmeters. So mag maglearn ta on saon pag Hemo diagram, di kan sa actual na setup. Okay? First, battery. So, naata yung mga 1.5 volt battery. It comes in many forms. Na double A, triple A, na I type C, na I type D. Na put 9 volt battery. And then, uh, from our phones, in our cars. No? Then, the circuit diagram representing the battery is like this. Isan asa ane pwede. So, muna siya ang sa lower potential, kina siya sa higher potential. So, naatay plus ug minus. And, pwede giha po ninyo nani, daghan o mga mubo o taas. And, we can also have this form where this one is uh, your internal resistance. Okay? How about the switch? So there are many types of switches uh, here, presented here. Most common are the SPDT switch, toggle switches, the push button switch. For all of these switches, form. The idea is that it breaks the circuit whenever it is turned off. So, muna siya naka-switch off. So, bili siya connected, disconnected. And then, as it switches on, so, makaagin na ang kurinte. Okay? So, pwede po, ingon ane, kanang naimata, then muna siya ang naka-switch on. For the push button switches, inani po ang dagway. So, naka-off. So, night space and then turn on uh, sumpay siya. How about for a lamp or a light bulb? You could represent it like this. So, na siya X diha. Tapos, pwede pwede nga nani. More like the filament. It's a nice circle. And then, since your light bulb is just another resistor, you could also represent it like this. So, this is symbol for your resistor. The circuit diagram representing resistors like this. So, naatay mga gito fixed resistors. Uh, same lang ihang value. Wala nag-change. Dili ni mo masyama usab-usab. It's different from a variable resistor. For example, the rheostat, as you move this to the left or to the right, uh, depending on your connection, ahan mo connect magkagamay or modako ang iyahang resistance. Okay? So, for uh, fixed resistor, ingon na na iyahang mga forms. So, pwede nga isa lang ka pulse, pwede po daghan nga zigzag. It's up to you. But for a variable resistor, look at this, na siya arrow. So, in Europe, ang ilaha pong uh, symbol nga ginagamit is box. Ina na ang ilaha. At least we are aware now. How about for fuses? Fuses, there are many types of fuses. This is for your cars. Ibutang lang niya automotive fuse. Cartridge fuses, may ginagamit sa main line nimo. Switch fuse. Resetable fuse. So, daghan po siya, no? But as we look at the diagram, so daghan siyang mga pwede. For the IEE and size standard, natay duha. Pwede ni siya either any IEC standard, ina ni siya. For us in our class, pwede bisa na sa ane, but it's preferable nga kini lang atong gamito na. Kini siya. Because others might be we might confuse it with other components. As for the ammeter, an ammeter is uh, where we uh, a component that can measure 
the current through the wire. So notice that it is connected in series with the component that you are measuring the current. So its symbol is this. So pwede ni siya balik, bali bali, uh, just like that. So in this uh, setup, it is represented with this diagram. Diba? Nakuha na to. So from higher potential, from higher potential, ni agi siya sa ammeter, and then ni add to sa bulb, and then paeng on sa <coughs> lower potential. So from higher potential, Agi sa ammeter, agi sa bulb, and then to the lower potential. Kung nakaside siya, pwede inane. As for your voltmeter, remember that uh, when you measure the volts, you, you must connect this, this uh, measurement tool in parallel with the component where you are testing the voltage. For example, this resistor, you want to know the voltage drop across this resistor, you need to connect your voltmeter in this way. Ang ilahang both ends kay nag-unite. Nag so, muna siya parallel na connection. Okay? So, our symbol for voltmeter is like this. Kung naka-vertical po, di ko na siya. So, look at this example. In the setups of higher potential, to lower potential, so paana siya, wala pa labot ang, so this is your higher potential, tapos mo agi siya sa resistor, tapos mo agi siya sa bulb, tapos balik sa lower potential. But we, we have connected this one, so muna siya, na voltmeter. This voltmeter, muna siya. And the third one, is this so can you see it now so this is why it is very important that we 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 know how to relate the actual setup with the diagrams that we are using in the problems that we'll be solving so the simple procedure to draw circuit diagram is on first is replace the components with symbols so in mushang ni drawing at timan ani mo ina pangalan di ba voltmeter voltmeter kini siya is uh, voltage source and then verify the correct connection so correct connection of terminals na no? look at that so sila dapat ang mag nakaparallel so pag mamalika na so for example this one mag connect na ni mo dito so malik na siya and then uh, last one is as much as possible draw in straight lines box shapes no? because this is the way they they do it and then it's preferable na so look at this kini siyang mga examples is muni gitong ganina so pwede di ay parehas na sila tanan look at that so pud kini siya gamitan ng voltmeter Gimisura ni muna siya voltmeter, parallel na sila, parallel po ni sila. Here, same, parallel, parallel, parallel. Okay, parallel, parallel, parallel. Here we are using the uh, different symbol for your lamp. Parallel, parallel, parallel. Can you see it now? So, Given a, a setup, you can represent it in many ways. So let's have it uh, this way. For example, this one. Higher potential, more a resistor, 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 lower potential. Higher potential, resistor, 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 lower potential. This is your actual setup. It's your battery. And then... Uh, you have your wala naka indicate grid eh, no? so but let's assume that muna siya ang higher potential then switch then bulb then lower potential okay so higher potential naka on ang switch naka on ang off ana niya kay nagngangaman 
and then it goes to the bulb and then to the lower potential. How about this? Try to answer this. What do you think would be the correct circuit diagram for this setup? Thank you.